In this video I'm gonna to show you how you can easily make paper cutout effect for any object in your video using After Effects. For this tutorial I used our paper project. We've created a large collection of diverse assets. To make it easier for you I leave a link below the video with free paper assets that we'll be using today. Let's start to create. First we select a frame from our second clip, trim it and apply freeze frame. Next we place this frame over our first clip. Select the pen tool and start creating a mask. You can do it sloppily and unevenly, you don't need precision. After creating the mask, pre-compose the object and name it object, then duplicate it. On the first layer of the object, add the simple choker and fill effects. Set chalk made to minus 70 and change the color to white. Also add the rough edges effect and set sharpness to 10, scale to 10 also and border to 25. After that pre-compose these two layers and name it final paper object. Select the pen tool again and start animating the object. Create a frame by frame reveal animation from the bottom to top. Adjust the position every 4 frames until the object is fully visible. Once done, select all the keyframes and set them to toggle hold keyframe. I'd like to speed up the animation and adjustment the spacing between the keyframes to 3 frames. We also add a freeze frame for our first clip. Now I apply the drop shadow effect to the object, set opacity to 80, distance to 0 and softness to 120. Then you need to add the add grain effect, set viewing mode to final output, intensity to 1.6 and scale to 0.5. Next add crumple paper over the object. Duplicate the object and place it over the paper to create a mask. For the paper set the track made to the object. Change the blending mode to screen and add the curves effect to adjust the contrast. Now add another piece of paper over the first clip. Set the blending mode to screen and add the curves effect for contrast. For the first clip, apply the brightness and contrast effect. Set brightness from 0 to minus 150. Create an adjustment layer. Move 5 frames to the right and 5 frames to the left. And add the exposure effect. Set it to 3 in the center and 0 on the edges. Finally, add some sound effects. And here is the result, created in just a few minutes. Thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, leave a like and comment below. That way you won't miss out on more exciting videos and projects from us. Bye.